Hi everyone. Welcome to Nick IT Academy. In Informatica, we may face many issues in our day-to-day -day activities, possibly due to the infrastructure or port which we have developed. In this series, I will show you all the possible issues and understand them to resolve them quickly. Issue number two, cannot connect to domain to look at service. We might be getting this kind of issue while connecting to the repository. I will let you know how to resolve this particular issue. If you haven't subscribed our channel, please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you'll be getting all the notifications. You might be facing this kind of error quite often while connecting to repository. Let me give you insight why we are getting this particular error and how to solve that. You might be facing this issue in real time projects as well, but in real time project, it's very, very rare but you might be getting this kind of error like in development environment. So what is this error? You are trying to connect with repository. You have added the repository, you have added the domain and you are trying to connect. While trying to connect, you'll be getting this error. This designer is checking whether the Informatica service is up and running. See here, I got the error. ECSF 46008 cannot connect to domain. What is this error? Actually, I'm trying to connect with repository and the service is not up and running. First of all, we have to understand why this error is happening. Then it is very easy to fix it. And if you go to this real time project as well as our personal machine, this is our server. Okay. Server is one places. So Informatica server we have here. In one place, they have the server. The client. So from many places, we will be connecting to the server, right? So when user A is connecting to the server, user B is connecting to the server, user C is connecting to the server. So while they are connecting from the client tool to the server, we are getting, while we are connecting to this server from the client, from the power center client, we are getting this particular error. So because this Informatica server is not up and running, in our machine, this Informatica server is not up and running. If you shut down your machine, your Informatica server also will get shut down. Okay. You are trying to connect from the client to the server, to the repository you are trying to connect. It is not able to connect it here. That's what you are getting there. To resolve this error, we have to start the services. Go and check whether the service is up and running. So you can search services here. Okay, directly you can search here services or if you don't find the services here, search button here, you can click on Windows R, go to that services or MSC, you can click on OK here. So this particular page will be open. Click on any one service and go to I. Press I, it'll go, it will show you that Informatica service. If you see here, Informatica Power Center is not running. So left hand side, you are seeing the start button. So you have to start the service first. That means in our personal machine, we are starting the server. The server, we are starting it. In real time project, the server is up and running 99% 99.99% 99 If it is production server, yes, we will not see that downtime. They will go only down at maintenance time. But dev server or QA server, sometimes it will go down. If you are not able to connect, you are getting this particular error. Then we have to contact with your admin team, Informatica admin team. They will check whether domain is down or not. And then they will up the server. Then you can able to connect. Okay. So if you see this, this is what you'll be getting it. If you are getting here, you'll, you will not get this security domain as well. The drop down, you will not get it. But after starting the services, wait for five to 10 minutes, wait for five to 10 minutes, then try to connect it. You can able to connect. After five to 10 minutes, go and check here, whether the Informatica 4.1 service is up and running. Yes. At least you have to wait for five to 10 minutes. If you are going to work on Informatica Power Center, start the service 10 minutes before, and then check whether still it is running. Okay, if it is running, 
go to your designer or any other client tool double click on the repository now now we are getting this username right yes you can check here you are able to connect here if you are getting failed to connect repository service that means till the service is not up and running okay still the service is not up and running we have to wait for some more minutes now we will try to connect right click on repository click on connect username and password is similar you can connect it has been connected now so this is what the possible resolution for this and you might be facing some other issues as well so what is this the first one is you have to start the service you have to check that service is up and running then try to connect it it should connect if not connecting still go to the services.msc page right hand side on the white space you right click and click on refresh and check whether this particular service is still up and running some machines it will not it will not up and running after 10 minutes it is getting stopped if the service is not running even though you have started the service if the service is not running that means some other issues you might have installed antivirus software in your system and this antivirus software has deleted some of the exe files and it is stopping the service in that case you have to reinstall the server and another possible resolution is the second one is the password for the repository has been expired you have to reset the password it's been long time you have installed you are using your informatica server without any issues but after 6 month or one year it is getting failed you are not able to connect with repository even you are starting your services if it is not up and running in that case you have to go and check here windows r go to windows r and type sql plus you have to go to sql plus enter the username system then password whatever the password you have given while installing your oracle software that is your repository then check whether you are able to connect it or not if the password has been has been expired you will be getting pop up here saying that password has been expired you have to reset the password it will ask you to enter the password you have to provide the same password okay don't change the password you have to provide the same system password if you have given already like admin the same password you have to provide now okay so these are all the possible issues you might be facing it we will meet in another session with another issues and i will tell you how to resolve that particular issue as well thank you if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you will be getting all the notifications thank you